and welcome to your weekly reading. This is Adventures in Pixieland, and this is your weekly reading from October 25th to November 1st. So we're starting out this reading right on that new moon partial solar eclipse in Scorpio. So it's a little bit of a tumultuous time and it's been that way for a little bit. But before we jump in, because these cards have been shuffled and focused on Leo energy, before we jump in, let's handle a little bit of the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below. And if you're feeling my vibe, please check out the description box below because it will tell you how you can support my Patreon channel or contact me for a personal reading. If you decide to support my Patreon channel, you get a certain number of free personal readings every month. So, jumping in. It's gonna be tumultuous. Fixed signs, which I am most definitely a fixed sign. I'm not a Leo, but I'm a fixed sign. We don't like change. Change is troublesome for us. It really does. It bothers us a whole lot. So, we don't like it but we have to deal with it. And this October is very tumultuous. So let's see what the uh, universe wants to say. Messages for Leo, October 25th to November 1st. 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 Mm -hmm. Messages for Leo, October 25th to November 1st. All right, I am going to clarify all these cards. And I'll hold them up so you can see them better because I know you can't see all of them so fantastically. But this is your past, this is your present, this is your near future. Someone to you, you to someone. Balance, outcome, summary, okay? So, let's jump in, okay? In your recent past, there was something about your happiness that came into play. You started something new. You had an ace of wands moment. Things had to start afresh. And here is the Page of Cups communication about that starting fresh. Something you didn't weren't expecting to happen. Because, you know, when pigs fly, that's what you're thinking. Some communication coming forward. Um, in your present moment, you have reasons to celebrate. You've got the Three of Cups there. That's a happy card. Maybe you got help from somebody. Maybe you have a good community around you. I mean, they're looking towards the future. They're moving in a positive direction. So you got the dipper there going on. So, you know, they're moving forward. It's a, it's a happy scene. You got the, then look at the Triketas there and tattooed on her back. That's the mother and the maiden in the crone. There's some forward movement happening. And you've been interacting with somebody official. It could just be a Taurus, but it, it feels more like an official person. This is also a card of marriage. There, you're gonna, it's a general reading, so you'll have to take it as it resonates. But there's some sort of uh, communication happening with this person. And then this is the card of Libra, but you could also be dealing with the justice system. Maybe, you know, somebody really particularly official. Maybe something's balancing out here in an official relationship or a communication from unofficial about something balanced. And this someone to you, it's, this is Aries energy. This is a fresh start. Someone's offering you some sort of fresh start. And you here are standing in wounded warrior. This is very fire energy. Later, she's very defensive. Whatever this fresh start is, you have a defensive energy when in interacting with this person. Maybe they've been doing things they haven't shouldn't been doing or Maybe you just don't trust them in some fashion. And here you got the lover's card. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. This is also a card of Gemini. But it's a card of partnership. It could be any partnership that you're, you're finding yourself in. And partnership here is a loose term. You know, it's, it's somebody you need to regularly communicate with. I'm going to use it in the sense of relationship, i.e. a continued interaction between any two people. 
Like I said, it does not have to be romantic. Here you guys see the outcome is the Three of Swords. That's some despair happening there. That's something happening that you don't particularly like. But these cards here summarize that Three of Swords. So there is the Emperor here. That's Again, it's Aries energy. Uh, this person and this person, they feel like they're the same. Okay, they're, it's not a separate energy. You got some official person. Again, here is a card of Gemini and Virgo. Okay. Um, this is a manifestation of something. This person is trying to manifest something. And there's this two of wands. So there's like a waiting happening. Look, at she's looking out there going, come on. There's the world in front of her. She's, uh, she's trying to get towards this. She's, and, you know, she wants a VW bug with a surfboard. That's kind of cool. She's looking forward to something off there in the future that she wants. Right? She's daydreaming, wanting it. Right, so you're manifesting something. There's just a weight happening. I feel like this Three of Swords isn't really, I don't know, it's not as tumultuous as it could be. Maybe there was because you didn't have the lover's card here in the balance. Maybe there was a third party situation. That might be the case for you. We're gonna clarify these cards, but again, general reading, take it as it resonates. So what is this Nine of Cups about in Leo's uh, recent past? What is this Nine of Cups about in Leo's recent past? Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords. What is this Nine of Cups in Leo's past? Ten of Pentacles. So this has to do with the community somehow and some juggling happening and, and a need to move into calmer waters. So something happened unexpectedly. If there was a tower for you or some kind, right? It's created this uh, juggling. You don't quite know. You don't have all the quite the information. It's it, this juggling is happening within a community and it feels like it's happening where you can't see it, but things are, you know, we're moving into calmer waters. It looked like there was some progress being made. What is this Ace of Wands in Leo's past? So many cards. What is this Ace of Wands in Leo's past? Take those two. What is this Ace of Wands in Leo's past? Yeah. There's the full energy back here. So whoever this person is here, which is also this person here, and possibly that person there, you, you, you were interacting with them in the past and you're interacting with them in the near future. In a death card, there was some sort of ending. Something ended so you could move to a new beginning. So this person is communicating with you about this new beginning, this offer, or whatever this is. What is this Page of Cups about in Leo's past? Three of Swords. What is this Page of Cups about in Leo's past? What is this Page of Swords about in Leo's past? What is this Page of Swords about in Leo's past? Two of Swords, Temperance, that's Sagittarius energy. Three of Swords here again. So whatever this is in the outcome, you were dealing with this situation in the past. It's not a new stressor. It's the same stressor. Whatever this is, you know what it is. Like, whatever this is for you, it is it is the same. There was a, an indecision happening, an imbalance occurring. So there is a need to be balanced, to be patient with something. And their communication about being patient with something. What is this Three of Cups about in Leo's present? Wheel of Fortune, that's um, Sagittarius energy again. And the Wheel of Fortune is also Pisces. Could be interacting with either one of those signs. What is this Three of Cups? What is this Three of Cups in Leo's presence? So many cards. What is this Three of Cups in Leo's present? Wow. What is this Three of Cups in Leo's present? All right, I'll just take two. It keeps wanting two. All right, so Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, so there's divine timing at play. Again, that's the Wheel of Fortune is is uh, is Sagittarius Pisces. Like this is Taurus Gemini, uh, Nine of Pentacles. That's very much of Virgo energy and also Leo energy. So this feels like two energies. This is you. This is this is this person. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Gemini. Could just be fast moving communication. And it's something from your past. This is a communication about something from your past. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor here. So you've got reason to celebrate. There's, I mean, you still have to be patient because this is the slowest moving energy in the deck. 
So it could, it, you could be being told to be patient, but what you're being told to be patient about brings you great joy. It's something that you have a reason to celebrate. What is this Hierophant about in uh, Leo's near future? Page of Cups. What is this Hierophant about in Leo's near future? Knight of Cups, King of Swords, the Hangman. So, like I said, this could be a marriage. You could be interacting with a Taurus. Maybe you don't even know you're interacting with a Taurus. You don't have to know that. Um, King of Swords. King of Swords, it could be an official. It could be, you know, somebody with some position of authority. Again, could be a Capricorn. Could be an Aquarius. You know, you don't have to take that as it resonates. But there's some sort of communication here with the Page of Cups. Like, I'm so sorry this is taking so long. Um, we are, you know, making some kind of forward progress. But, you know, be patient. Be patient. We're, we haven't forgotten you. We're still moving forward. Here's the progress that we're at. You know, someone needs to apply some critical thinking skills, maybe. You know, you're going to get some communication. If there's been a delay in communication, don't worry. The balance is coming. What is this justice card in Leo's uh, near future? Seven of Cups. What is this justice card about in Leo's near future? Queen of Swords. King and Queen of Swords. There's a match set. What is this justice card about in Leo's near future? Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords is... A Virgo and Leo energy. This is also Libra energy. So I mean, again, you could be just be dealing with the justice system. There's no gender in tarot. This could be the same person that you're having uh, communications with. There's been something about the options. One of those options that it stresses you. You don't like it. But there's communication about that option that you might not necessarily like and bringing a balance to it. Maybe there's some parts of it that are less than ideal. Like you're going to get some assistance you need. Some part of what you want, but maybe not all of it. What is this uh, fool card about in Leo's future? The hermit. What is this fool card about in Leo's future? Six of wands. Eight of cups. This is Virgo energy. Aries energy. This feels like hurry up to wait. This person's offering a fresh start. You got to wait. Move quick, but wait. Walk away from things that don't serve you. Recognize what's a lost cause, right? They're going to try to tell you basically how to cut your losses, I guess. Or they're going to tell you, all right, this, you know, this part can happen. That part can't happen. That kind of thing. But there is a victory at hand. Like they are looking. It's not like they're trying to conflict with you. They, something that's, that feels like there's something that's not in their control. What is this Nine of Wands about in Leo's uh, near future? Four of Pentacles. What is this Nine of Wands about in Leo's near future? Two of Wands, which is out here in your outcome. What is this Nine of Wands about in Leo's future? Eight of Wands. So you still have a waiting. You feel defensive about the waiting. You're trying to hold on really hard. This is the four of pentacles. You're holding on real hard. And you have to wait. And you know you have to wait. You don't like it. So that's why you're feeling defensive about it. And you've got this uh, lots of communication coming in. Eight of Wands is very much communication. Could be online too, you, you, depending upon how you're interacting with this person. It's not necessarily somebody right in, physically in front of you. What is this uh, lover's card about in Leo's future? Page of Swords. What is this Lover's card about in Leo's future? Eight of Swords. What is this Lover's card about in Leo's future? Seven of Wands. So some kind of communication is going to come in for you. Like the balance here. This is your balance, right? So this is a person you're talking to. And you're feeling very conflicted. I mean, this is conflict in and of itself. And this is, uh, you know, stress some high level of stress happening. There's a communication about a conflict. You're gonna balance is in finding out what this conflict is. So you can stop stressing and start looking for a solution. What is this three of swords about in Leo's future? Take that, the tower. What is this three of swords? And the magician, here you go, twice. Magician, that's Gemini Virgo energy. What is this three of swords? 
the justice, which is here, right? In your near future. So whatever this is, this because uh, it came up in your past, this Three of Swords, this communication about this Three of Swords, right? It's, it's existing in your future, and it's because of a tower. Something happened. Every sign has been having towers. That is what this eclipse is about. So whether you're looking at this eclipse as, you know, right, because it starts on the 25th, which is the day of the eclipse, which is in your present, but it feels like this tower happened in your past. And it's this stress is because of this tower. But you're going to, your communications, you're interacting with someone official. And they are trying to manifest some balance for you. They're trying to help whoever they are. It doesn't feel like they're actively trying to interfere. Like, they didn't necessarily create this situation. But you're communicating with them because the situation exists. Take that as it resonates. <laughs> what is this emperor about in Leo's uh, future? Nine of Cups. What is this emperor about in Leo's future? Four of Wands. What is this emperor about in Leo's future? Queen of Cups. Yeah. Could be any water sign. Queen of Cups could also be Gemini. Because you do have Gemini energy here already. Some, this official, whoever they are, whether that's a father, your father, your husband, whoever it is for you, there is some sort of communication coming through. They are trying to talk to you about getting you to this happy outcome. Look for 11-11 because four of wands. It's, but it's some reason to, to celebrate. They're trying to get you to this happiness. They are. And there's sympathy happening here. And use your intuition when you're interacting with them. You'll see. What is this uh, magician about in Leo's outcome? Three of Cups. What is this magician about in Leo's outcome? Page of Pentacles. What is this magician about in Leo's outcome? Four of Cups. So a communication. Again, an apology. Uh, it, but it, this feels almost like, I know it's what you want, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't do that, but we can do this. Here's what we can do. Let us try to manifest for you. Let us try to help you achieve this thing. Even if you're not particularly interested, because you know your defensive energy is over here, so you're not particularly interested in this parts that they can't do. You're, you're not happy with it, but it might be a reality you have to accept. What is this Two of Wands in Leo's future? The world card? What is this Two of Wands in Leo's future? Judgment. What is this Two of Wands in Leo's future? The Chariot. Could be interacting with a Cancer. World card is Aquarius and a Capricorn. Judgment is Scorpio energy. So there's still this waiting, but this waiting is going to be coming to an end. I mean, with the world card there. There is a choice that is going to be made. A choice will be made, and it will move towards forward progress. So you're going to get what you need. You might just need to be patient when you don't feel like being patient. What is the advice for Leo, October 25th to November 1st? Devil, Five of Cups. What is advice for Leo? Judgment again. So this is Capricorn energy. But there could be something about this. There's some sort of toxicity, some un, something unrealistic, something not wanted, some yeah, consequence here that you, you know you just don't need. And there's a need to walk away. You need to make a choice to walk away from whatever this is that isn't working. Something isn't working. So, all right. If you have a yes or no question, ask. This is the time to do it. These are the cards that answer yes or no questions. Messages for Leo. Communicate clearly. There's something better. Messages for Leo. Get more information. Okay, so if you're being told, well, I'm sorry we can't do that thing, then ask more questions. Is there anything else that I can, you can recommend that I do instead? Instead of being so fixated on, no, this is the only way this works. Ask them what they can do instead. Understand that they're trying. They're trying to help. Whoever they are. They're not deliberately thumbing their nose up at you. There's something that is out of their hands. If this is some kind of program, 
right? If this is some kind of assistance, whether that's at work or it's with a government official, or if it's some help you're asking your friend for, or something between you and your romantic partner, it doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. There are some restrictions that they don't have any control over happening. And they're trying to tell you what that is. There might be a way they can help you better. Maybe you don't get it exactly the way you thought you would, but you get something that's better for you because there is something better. You just have to ask them. You know, don't let pride be the problem. Ask them. Ask them what they can do for you. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Advice for Leo. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse exactly what we're having advice for leo hold your vision fixed moon is part of your energy luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius this is what you don't see coming nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius and the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn let's get you a fairy message messages for leo the hollow hills we are here waiting deep within the hollow hills when the moment comes we will rise up and restore the natural world to see her and you human child flourish once again to patience ask the questions communicate clearly this is a card of, of having patience of understanding that the the universe has ways of balancing things out even if it's not what we thought it would be sometimes it turns out better than we could have ever imagined so you know have faith have faith try to look at things from a new perspective see where it takes you and with that i hope this helps leo please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember as always you are a child of the universe no less than the trees and the stars, and you have a right to be here.